Alrighty, hi friends! Today we're going to be doing a Hatsune Miku makeup tutorial on my face. I am all ready to go. I've got my hair note ready. I just need to put some contacts in. So I'll be using some blue eye contacts to get that characteristic look of Hatsune Miku. And you can see them here. I got them from Hoshi AU. They're a Australian based company and they're really good. So we're going into priming. I use the KVD primer. It's one of the best primers I have. It's really good. It's good for sensitive skin but you can use whatever primer. Now my face is primed. We're ready to go in with the foundation. Now to couple it with the foundation I'm using the KVD foundation. Uh, honestly, I just want to use it a lot, but it's the best. It's like cement on your face. It just stays all day, er day. And it makes me look like a porcelain doll. So now we're going to contour. We're going to contour like the cheek and the chin and nose. And also we're going to do the little lower lip. I feel like that gives you like a little bit more of a pout. But without like filler and really like trying to really define it that much. It's like a cute little pout. And by trying to find your cheek contour, I kind of suck in like... Like my cheek and you'll have like a cheekbone and go underneath your cheekbone so that it can be blended in so you can see the lines here these are exactly for my face and my face only so don't copy it um, it would look different on your face because your face is completely unique Make sure you blend, 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 blend that beating, like blend like in a circle motion or like a um, windscreen wiper motion. I feel like that works really well and it doesn't really shift your foundation. It shouldn't if it's like a full coverage one and it should be easily blended in. Look around, look around your neck and make sure you blend all of that one out. And now we're going to go in with the concealer. I do it underneath my eye and just a little bit goes a long way and I usually put concealer in areas that I want to highlight um, particularly underneath my eye and on my nose and making sure that it's also on my chin because those areas really capture the light I'm using the Maybelline fit me concealer and you just keep doing that blending you keep blending and the more blending the better honestly um, it, it's really good now really trust the process in this one like keep blending even though you may think it looks terrible if you try to like look at your mirror during this time it's just like keep blending just keep blending just keep blending and now we're going in with our highlight so i do highlight last to make sure that it really like pops and sticks out so it's all over like my face, my cheek, uh, my forehead, those same areas that are really going to capture the light. Like you don't want to be like purely white but also you don't want to be like as if you're in shadow and you aren't fully sculpted because if you look at like a statue or something they've got areas that will capture the light and it will look really good in photos too. Honestly, it's been a while since I've made a video, but you can see videos a week early on my Patreon. The link is down below and you can also keep up to date with projects and cosplays on my Instagram. The link is below. Make sure while you're here to subscribe to the channel. Not a lot of you guys are following the channel, but hopefully you guys will like this kind of content in the future. And there's more coming soon with some announcements. So here I have the um, setting powder. This powder I found is the best and you just honestly get it in your hand and then you just screw like your brush in, your biggest fluffiest brush that you can. Like if it's a fluffy brush you just go dab 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 and then you just immediately like puff your face immediately hit every area that is like tacky or sticky uh, you really want it if you're going to put more powder on your face after this you want like a powdered because like sticks with like and if you are going to put like powder on a wet sticky face it, it will stay but it won't have like that powder payoff which you can see a lot in my old um photos at the end of the day like if you go back to my photos in 2019 and like 2017 you'll be able to see the the like sheen 
of Not Set Face. So I'm going to be using the Conspiracy palette and a little like scrubby brush to set my eyebrows and then to also um, put the color of Miku's hair on it because Miku's hair is like an aqua color and like uh, coincidentally the aqua color um, that's tea or what's the tea I haven't used this palette in ages but it was the only one that had the color um, that really suits the hair color and having the eyebrows just a little tad lighter than your wig just a tad not like a lot lighter really fits better and then you really just go in and scrub that pan to get all the pigment off and then get like a little brush or get a flat rounded um, brush. I'm using an angled brush because um, it, it's, it's convenient. Uh, you can pretty much use any brush you want. Some people use like a white eyeliner or the NYX Jumbo Milk but honestly because my eyebrows are already so fair <laughs> like they are here they really pick up the color but if you've got really dark eyebrows I really suggest to use a white primer first and then stick that um, powder on there so it will come up here you can see that the color is really starting to come up but I'm just really packing that on I'm like you better work beesh. come on like get in my eyebrows so there's one eyebrow there so let's keep going into the other eyebrow like let's keep smacking that powder on like honestly just keep smacking it in keep doing it trust the process I tend to trust the process and um, sometimes it looks good sometimes it looks bad but that's just the fun of experimenting with makeup and also hot tip with your eyebrows if some of the powder goes off a little bit get a bit of tissue and wipe it away and then cover it up with concealer that has worked for me in the past but um, the best thing to do is to get some of your foundation as well or to really just you know get a little wet wipe and just try and get like a q-tip and wipe it away because who's gonna notice who's gonna like look immediately at your eye so now for eyes I'm going to use like a brown for the crease because Sembran Zucker and Miku is kind of very natural in her makeup and there's no like guideline for cosplay makeup but I always like to go in with a base and then make color pop that way so here I'm really going to pack in this like light pink color and then we're gonna go in even more with it and just pack that one in like do the wind scraper wind 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 scraper wind screen wiper oh my god I can't speak English today use the wind screen wiper uh, motion and that will really keep it like in there and it blends it really nicely whilst following the like curve of your eye and the crease of your eye I always find putting a lighter color first is easier than putting like dark and then trying to go to light it's easier to go from light to dark than dark to light So for this look I'm kind of going for like a peachy but like sakura kind of look so I'm going to use this like shimmery like copper and then put it all over my lid. Just put it all over, it doesn't matter. Like let's go, let's cover ourselves in glitter. I find like the best uh, reference for looks is honestly going online to like Instagram and seeing what other people have done and going on Pinterest. Pinterest is really good not just for makeup looks but looking up poses as well. So to stop me there let's put some like shimmery silver look just on the inner corner just so it pops like it goes pop like that and when you take photos it's just gonna look amazing then you make sure you really pack like your shimmers on so that it shows up in photos like you may be able to see it but it might not show up so here I'm gonna use like a dark brown shimmer for my outer corner now this one really elongates your eye and makes it like feel snatched like you're face tuning yourself but in real life like that seems a bit weird but I think it really works now you can tell I haven't used this white a lot but we're gonna use it to really highlight that shimmer and put it on the inner corner so it really pops like looking at the one eye and then the other eye just like a little bit before you can see that it really pops at the end 
Now for liner, I use Dolly Wank. Dolly Wank is a really good brand. A lot of lol eaters use it, and this one is honestly the best. I feel like it's the best liner I've ever had, and I will keep rebuying it. I will keep getting it from those like hole in the wall Japanese cosmetic stores, or those like places that have like Korean stores and they've got like some Japanese stock. This one is always in stock and I always think like oh my god this is the most amazing one and it's just always back and it goes on so well and it also has a brush tip majority of liners have a felt tip and I hate that as someone that's not used to it so having a brush tip that is long lasting will last me all con day guaranteed I have worn this so many times to so many cons and it looks amazing and it's, and it's pretty affordable for a Japanese brand like usually Dolly Wink is really expensive but this one mm, best $20 spent ever and oh just looks so good so we're going for like a subtle wing not like a big wing we're not wanting a full-on cat eye because like Miku's cute but she's not like that like out there like kind of showy like it's it's a fine art but Honestly, if you like your wing, go with the lower lash line and go up and then connect it to your um, normal lid. It's kind of like a big check mark on the side of your eye. And here we'll be using the ColourPop Sailor Moon blush. I love this blush. It is so pigmented. And honestly, I hope they continue to make this one because it just Im immediately makes you look like a cute little like bit of fairy flosses on your face or cotton candy as like Americans would call it. And it's just so pigmented and so worth it, honestly. And I do it all around my face so it looks like really cute now for lashes I love these lashes they are from Aliexpress and we got like I don't know how many like so many of them for like ten dollars honestly not going to any store ever again for falsies these ones are so like vo voluminous 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 yes that's the word and you just immediately stick it on you blow on it for a bit and make sure the glue is like a little bit tacky and then just stick it on your eye and play around for a bit I suck at this part but look at it look at it amazing who is she oh one eye oh womp womp the other eye amazing oh I'm just hyping myself up because I love these lashes so much I honestly think like you shouldn't even bother with like going to Mecca or Sephora for lashes or any of these brands like these are mm, beautiful amazing but best tip I have is like open your mouth and go oh and make that sound and your eye will say open I feel like that that's like an old wives tale but it works fan your eyes girl like fan them like or if you want to be a cheer like me, use a little USB mini handheld fan and they'll be dry in no time. So for your lashes, I just any old mascara will do because the falsies will take care of the rest. But to make sure they're all uniform, I use the uh, Benefit Bang Mascara. Uh, it just works. I like it. And if you have a mascara you like, use that. You don't have to use exactly what I use, but it's amazing and you can stare at everyone. Now for the lip, I'm I'm gonna go for a blended like Korean style lip where it's like darker in the center but lighter on the outside so I'm going in with this nude um, lip tip crayon that I got from this one brand that I can't pronounce their name yeah so once done with the nude look make sure it's all good to go and then you're going to get your red tint and then put it on just just the inside and smush your mouth around a little bit so it blends in and then on the inside make sure it looks all good if not use your finger now for the, my favorite part highlight I'm going to use this Fenty highlighter and put it just on the like top of my cheekbone near my eye I find that's the cutest spot and a little bit on the cupid's bow so it will show up now for the final part putting the wig on the wig is the worst part for me because I'm like oh my god I can't see and it needs to be styled completely so I'm using a comb to swoop everything back and make sure it's all straight trust me if it, it's gonna look better in photos but swooping it all back and making sure it's not in my eyes and then we put the clips on the clips are amazing the clips are all good to go I'm ready to go get a shoot done the photo 
those are now live on Patreon and I have also posted some on my Instagram. Check those ones out and I hope you like this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye!